Okay guys, I need all your guys' help. We have got to make this video go viral. Um, there was a direct flight with Air Bridge Cargo um, from Moscow to Chicago. It was a direct flight. I was told that there was only 25 animals on this flight, which was an absolute lie. Um, guys, I'm gonna post videos up of the cargo facility. There's, I got confirmation um, from one of the people that have a dog that their dog passed away. Um, there's several dogs that are in comas. Um, so please continue to watch. Um, I need you guys to share this video. There's a lot of breeders in Russia that have no idea what is going on, you guys. Um, this has been probably the, the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, I'll, I'll tell you about my story. There is a woman named Christina that arranged this entire flight. She is a piece of, mm. um, she hung up in my face because I asked, I, I picked up some, um, a cat for a customer and I was asking, I was supposed to have a few cats, but I ended up just picking up the one. Um, and I was asking her for documents for days because Chicago does not have a holding facility. So you have to get the animals cleared by customs before they can even board this flight. Um, oh, I'm so angry. Um, she wouldn't give it to me. She hung up in my face. Uh, I was told to shut up. Um, she sent my cat that I was supposed to pick up in a random person's name, not even in my name. I didn't even know this girl. Thank God she ended up being absolutely amazing. Thank the Lord. Um, they lied about all the documents. And so they, the dogs get there, the cats get there, and they're gonna send the dogs back because the document that she did, well, actually her and another person named Larissa, which is a customs broker, they, they just started putting information in the system, lied about ages when they didn't need to lie about ages. So now these animals are just sitting there, okay? They were supposed to, some of these animals, sorry, some of these animals traveled um, over a day and a half just to get to Moscow to fly out. And then animals, if you guys do not know, animals have to be at a cargo facility six hours before a flight departs. So you add that on there. Then it's a 12 hour flight to Moscow, okay? By law, you're only allowed to keep an animal in a carrier for so long. That is why you have to have them cleared by customs before going to Chicago because they do not have a holding facility. They can only hold animals in a carrier after they land for up to four hours. Then they're supposed to go to a holding facility. Well, Chicago doesn't have one, so they say, we're sending all the animals back, all the dogs. What? So you mean they gotta wait to get reloaded back on this flight, rebooked back on this flight, another 12 hours back on this flight, and you know what their policy is? They are not allowed to feed or water any of these animals. Guys, I almost went to jail. I almost went to jail. So, um, Everybody's in there, of course. Everybody's crying. Animals are irate. These cargo facilities are not temperature controlled. I mean, they have ceiling fans, but what that's what is that going to do when it's hot? So they had to keep the front doors open. These animals were stacked on top of each other, side by side by side by side, which is extremely dangerous. Um, because, I mean, they're coughing on each other. I mean, these animals were panting. They had, like little hairless kitties which are super fragile they had Yorkies um, mancoons that are got a lot of hair that can't handle stuff like that you got they, it looked like they had a st. Bernard which come on you guys we all know and these animals had no food and no water why do I know this because they tried to hold me back I said let me see these animals I'm USDA licensed let me in they said we cannot let you in you are not permitted back here. And I pretty much told them to kiss my, mm. you guys all know me and for who's most don't, I don't listen very well. I rolled up, uh, I ripped off a piece of my book. I got a water bottle and I started going down the aisles, feeding, trying to give these babies water. As I was doing it, they were literally trying to drink the water as it was pouring out of the funnel that I had created. 
and they were telling me to stop, that they were going to call the police. I told them, call the police. What are you going to tell them? You're going to tell them there's a girl here that is giving these animals that are dying water. Call them. I want you to call them. Uh, several people did call the police, the news, everything like that. This is an act of absolute animal cruelty, inhumane acts. It is so disturbing. These animals um, were just covered in pee and poo. I went in there and um, some of these, an okay, so some of you guys don't know that when a cat has a UTI, a urinary tract infection, it is a smell that you'll never forget because it's harsh and you can smell it from a mile away. Well, some of these cats had UTIs because I could smell it and um, that is deadly to a cat which will cause them to have fevers. So, so you got some of these cats in here with fevers with no water with cats causes them to have very concentrated pee. We all know that cat already has very, very acidity pee. Could you imagine if you concentrate it, what it would do to them? Come on now. So this girl needs to be shut down. We need to make this viral. Um, I have never in my life seen anything like this. There's animals that people are calling me saying that their dogs are in comas. I had to leave because I have, I have some customers that won't understand that you know there's a tragedy going on. They're still gonna want me to come and pick up their animals. I had to leave my heart breaks but we need to help these dogs that are still there that they're trying to send back to Moscow supposedly there's several animals several dogs that are in comas please 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 you guys share 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 make this go viral watch the videos thank you this makes me very angry this is why you don't do cargo because you don't know what the next animal beside you has and this is why my company does not do cargo it's like 40 animals like just side by side look this one's probably sneezing on that one and that one and that one and that one unfortunately oh my god there's all those up there too look at all of the these ones? Yeah. holy sh look at this shit look at this look at this look at all these animals This is the most disgusting thing I have ever seen in my life. Does this pass USDA? I'm USDA licensed, and I don't think that USDA would pass something like this. Are you fucking kidding me? Apparently they did. It's the only way to get any. These are all the families standing outside, just waiting, most of them crying. It's pretty awful. And then over here, I go and you can see the dogs on this side, some of them. And I was trying to get that really big crate back there that had that big, huge, um, what I thought was the St. Bernard back there. Are you a vet? Tell me what you know about animals. Tell me what you know about I just got that from customs. I was doing it in customs and it was clear. They're processing the paperwork right now. I want you to go from this line, go back here, and bring me on this no, no, no. You know why? Because I just get all the hair right here. So I'm going to do a plan by giving you a plan. Did you just say that's not your problem? No, I don't know the reason. 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 But he just said that wasn't his problem. No, it was him that came. I know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know Look at these poor babies. I mean, this is just absolutely disgusting. They are just so sick.
scared. I mean, this is awful. This is way too long. 